Ryan, what's the mood in the camp after Tuesday's defeat at Portsmouth? Yeah, it's always a bit, um, uh, probably a bit flat coming in the first day after a defeat. But um, no, we've got good spirit in the in the camp still, um, and it's just good to have a game so soon after. Yeah, a win against Plymouth. Um, I guess it helps repair um, the, the low of Tuesday, really, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I think um, like first half thought we were excellent um, Tuesday, and obviously it was a bit of a sucker punch to concede. Right before half time, then we should never got a game going second half. But like you said, you know, it's a it's a derby game on Saturday, and we're looking forward to that. It'd be a good crowd and a good atmosphere. I was just looking. At the you've only played ten games, so um, I think it's thirty six league games still to go. So it's still early days, isn't it? It's still time to make a really positive impression on League One. What's needed to find that bit of consistency that perhaps lacking at the moment? Um, it's probably just um, all over the park, really. I think you know, there's probably just key moments in games where. You know where maybe we need to ride a storm for maybe 10, 15 minutes. You know, if the ball's coming in the box, and then to deal with them sort of crosses, and then when we get our chances, we need to we need to take them as well. And especially Tuesday, I think it showed up. We probably didn't do that. We didn't defend the, bo the ball in a box with a goal, and we had a few chances to take the lead. So I think it's just probably just them fine lines in the in the game at the moment. We're not getting right, but I'm sure if we um, we address them, we'll soon be shooting up that table. And is it fair to say the squad's a better squad than when you first played for Bristol Rovers last season? Yeah, um, it was it was good last season. Um, no, the gaffers added some good additions this year as well. So, so yeah, no, we're strong. We know um, we know what qualities we got. Um, we know how good of a players we can be. It's just um, trying to implement that and put the sort of um, performances we were showing last year onto the pitch now. Um, how are you playing this season? Um, it's, it's probably been a bit patchy, if I'm being honest. Like I'm I'm an honest guy. Um, Probably haven't hit the heights that I did last season just yet, but um, like I said, I've said before, you know, I'm giving them 100% in training every day. Every time I put it on the shirt, I'm giving 100%. Um, so I keep think if I keep doing that, um, the fit things will turn for me. So I'm, like I said, I'm just going to keep giving 100% for the the shirt. You set ridiculously high standards last season. Um, are you getting a sense that that form's coming back now as the season's starting to warm up? Yeah, no, I'll just probably taking a bit of time to trying to find my form. Um, Try and get back to what I was doing last year. Just not over -com complicate my game too much. So um, I'm pretty sure if I just keep doing that and the gaffer keeps showing faith in me, that I'll soon repair. You're only 20, aren't you? We have to remember you're very yeah, young. I mean, yeah. I look at you on the pitch and we think, you know, someone with experience, mid 20s, plays for Stoke, but you're still young. You're still learning. Yeah, no, but um, you know, I don't really look at my age as a as a factor really when I go on the pitch. You know, I don't really care what I'm up against them. Um, you know, I go out there and just just give it my best. You know, I'd, like I said, I've set up really high standards myself, and I probably haven't hit them this year. So, but you know, um, I'm going to keep giving it all, and hopefully, I can do that starting Saturday. And you're waiting with a couple of goals as well, which um, helps. It's good to get some goals from the back, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's something I want to add to my game. A um, few goals. So it was um, really good to get the the one against Blackpool. I'm not sure if the one against Oldham got given against me, <laughs> but um, but yeah, no. Um, you know, it's something I do want to add to my game, and um, you know, I think probably a bit more practice on the training pitch of it, sort of get on the end of crosses just after training. Things will certainly help that. Awkward game on Saturday, isn't it? Because you're taking on a side bottom of the table, and they'll be desperate to get some points as well. Yeah, um, there's no easy games in this league. You know, they're they're still a good side. They've got good players, um, but you know, I think if we can sort of generate the atmosphere we did against Blackpool, you know, the fans have been brilliant with us. They were fantastic on Tuesday. Um, so if they can get right behind us, you know, and then the team, I'm pretty sure, will give a good performance to them. Yeah, what does it mean to you the relationship with the fans? Where they they've taken to you immediately? They're delighted you re-signed in the summer. How important? Bear in mind, you're a lone player. Is your relationship with the Rovers supporters? Yeah, yes, yeah, it's it's, um, it's really important. You know, um, you know they pay their harder money to come and watch us uh, play football. So it's important that you know we give them give them something back on the pitch. You know, so wouldn't we can't promise we'll always get a result, but you know we always give a hundred percent. Every single player when they put on the shirt, so so yeah, now I've, I've got a good relationship with them. You know, I really enjoy playing in front of them. You know, they're a fantastic set of supporters, home and away. So, I'll make that continue. And then finally, I gather off the record, um, your housemates with Dom Telford at the moment, your fellow <laughs> player from Stoke. Um, yeah. How's that going for you? Yeah, yeah, no, he's a, he's a top lad, Dom. Um, there's never really a dull moment with him, with him around. I think the lads have taken to him as well, really well. So, I've just got to deal with him the extra bit after training, which is always a Bit of a pain in the backside. But <laughs> Who's the tidier, you or him? God, <laughs> I'll tell. You, I'll do a lot of cleaning up around the house. So. <laughs>
Nah, he's, nah, he's a top lad. He's a, he's a real good mate of mine, yeah. Yeah, and we, sh we saw against Wickham what he can do, so um, yeah. we should be excited about him as well this season. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a top player, Dom. Um, probably just haven't, hasn't got his chance, opportunity yet, but I'm pretty sure if he um, keeps training like the way he is and carries the sort of form he showed against Wickham, you know, he will... Um, he will score goals and I think he proved that at Wickham, so just wait for his opportunity. Back to the house chores, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>